Debbie Gibson is with us on the Star Morning Show. You're going to be able to meet her face-to-face, maybe get some stuff signed by her in Rosemont. The details are up at star105.com. Just put in the keyword, Joe. And here she is, Debbie. Joe, how are you? We're good. We just were talking about music videos, and it's great that we have you on with us this morning. Debbie Gibson is going to be out at the Hollywood Show in Chicago. We have the details up at star105.com. Put in the keyword, Joe. And the new Katy Perry video came out for her song, Roar. Videos are so involved these days. It's like shooting a movie when you look at them. It's crazy. Oh, I know. And there's no in-between. It was like when I was first making music videos, it was either like the cheap startup video or the million-dollar video. Now it's, I mean, yeah, I think that, you know, that handful of huge acts like Katy, they do make these really epic videos. And, you know, I played her mother. Do you remember this? In the TGIF, yeah, in the Friday night. Yeah, Teenage Katie's Mom. And you were part of all of that production that goes into it. And it's great because even videos now for music are so big that all of a sudden they have product placement in them for the new phone that's coming out. Product placement's very obvious. You know what my favorite product placement obvious thing is, is when you pick up like an Us magazine and they're like, you know, Heidi Klum out shopping for Pampers brand, and, and she's all dolled up at the checkout counter, you know. And <laughs> yeah, there like, she oh, is. Like, <laughs> like the Pampers are perfectly turned toward the camera. I'm like, yeah, my foot, they caught her on the fly buying that. It's so obvious. Celebrities just pimping themselves out left and right. Yeah, when you actually <laughs> see someone at the grocery store, and Debbie Gibson is with us. The Hollywood Show is in Chicago. You're going to be able to check her out tomorrow and Sunday. We have the details up at star105.com. Put in the keyword, Joe. So that happens to you. You go out and you go shopping. Do you have to make sure you're dialed up? Because even Tina Bree here talks about she goes to the store, and she wants to make sure she's dressed up because you don't know who you're going to run into. No, you don't know understand there was a time like a few months ago I think it might have been in the spring I was going to my throat my voice doctor and the paparazzi in LA camp out on this one street in LA because all the, the like celebrities go to doctors on this street and yeah I mean luckily I was dolled up because I had come from a meeting but I was sick that's why I was going to the doctor <laughs> so you come out and actually my phone had died and I had a, a driver that day for all these meetings and he, I couldn't reach him, so I just had to stand in front of the oh, building, no. kind of lingering, and I got photographed. Oh. And it ended up being this like eight photo spread in the UK Daily Mail. Oh. And thank God they liked what I was wearing. <laughs> thank goodness, right? Because otherwise, was, you know, because you're coming from the doctor, they're like yeah, Debbie Gibson. But it's awkward because you're standing there and you're like, "Hi guys," and you're like, "I'm pretending I don't see you, but I'm trying to look cute for the pictures." And I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. And then you're like. I need to blow my nose. Debbie Gibson, she's having some fun with us here this morning. She's going to have fun this weekend at the Hollywood Show in Chicago. I signing am. I autographs. People, so it's big people fest. And how about Foolish Beat? It, what, 25 years? The 25th yeah, anniversary. Yeah, big birthday. Yeah. Um, 25 years since it went number one. Yeah, it put me in the Guinness Book of World Records, and I hold the record still for being the youngest writer and producer of a number one. So I'm waiting for some youngin' to come and... Take the torch from me already. You would think with digital media sales and everything yeah, else, because that wasn't around. We, it's funny, we, though. Here's what's changed. And one of the, the top publishing guys said this to me. He said, you know, it's it only happens in Nashville now that somebody just sits in a room and writes their own songs. Because nowadays, you got the guy that goes, hey, 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 is a writer. The guy who created the beat is a writer. Three people wrote the hook. I mean, so some of these hits, I look at the writing credit, and I'm like, how did nine people write this one song? It's like this scientific formula for coming up with a hit these days. Right. And you're someone that did the work, all of the work on it, and you're saying you're waiting for someone to come along. But these songs are written with, say, Katy Perry in mind. Oh, you know who's going to sound great singing this? Katy Perry. Get this right, to her right, right now. Right. And, and I love, you know, like, I love me some Frank Ocean. Like, if you can picture him in his studio, like Prince in the old days, mad scientist by himself, letting it flow. You know, I love hearing pure artistry like that. What about Bruno Mars? Because he's up there for me, he's Bruno amazing. Mars. Amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, I know. Bruno Mars is a freak of nature. And I mean, everybody, of course, when they saw him on Saturday Night Live, that just, oh, yeah. that just put it over the edge. Because somebody who can sing is one thing, but then to be able to use your voice for comedy and humor and impersonations. And I'm thinking, that's just, I mean, he is like a force of nature. I think. He, it's like he brought some old school class 
to and, and gave it new relevance. Absolutely. So cool. Yep. That's yeah, exactly yeah. how we feel because it's like watching James Brown out there, right. the way that he dances and he moves and he just he does so well with his voice. You know, watching right. like watching him on the VMAs and how he did it puts some of the other artists to shame, and it just makes you feel good that there is ho- some hope for music. And you know, we're talking yeah, to Debbie Gibson. I think there's a lot of great music out there right now. So like people that get stuck, like some people think they're paying me a compliment by saying. Oh, there was nothing like '80s music, and I go look. It was great in the '80s, and there's great '80s, but there's some great music out right now. I actually think it's an amazing, exciting time for music. I mean, I remember like Radioactive being on my iPod a year ago. What is a song Debbie Gibson is digging right now that might shock people? Something that's on your iPod that it goes in the shuffle when you're working out or I'm doing to whatever. Think maybe a let it flow, let it flow, homie. You know we can see through the lies, homie. That I love that song. Um, I love a song that's a, come along now, come along with me, come on. Do you know that song? We know it, yep. absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So great. Um, th- those might not be shocking, I don't know. But, you know, I'm always looking, I mean, I love anything Eminem puts out. I love, you know, to me, it's like a great artist is a great artist is a great artist. Doesn't I agree. Matter the genre. I agree with the Eminem. I think yeah. he's a genius when it comes to lyrics. Debbie Gibson's going to be yeah, out. Yeah, he's a genius. You can see her tomorrow on Sunday, the Hollywood show in Chicago with a bunch of other stars. The details up, star105.com, keyword Joe. Before you go, Debbie, are yeah. you on your own iPod? Are you on your own iPod, on your music? You know what? The only thing that ever makes its way onto my iPod is like if I discover some old remix that I didn't even know was out there. So I recently put, there was a, a song I did called Free Me with Sirkin and Rogers, who are the forces behind Rihanna's career. And we had done half an album together years ago. And I found this new remix of it that I didn't know existed. And I was like, that's going on my iPod. Because it's like awesome. listening to something, somebody else in that's a way. That's great. You know? That's great. I love yeah, it. But for the most part, nah, I'll sit around and listen to myself because I'm singing my stuff all the time. Anyway. I know. I know. I just, I had to ask. I wanted to know. And I love that you have some of the remixes on there. Have fun this weekend. Thanks for all your time this morning. All right. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.